Hey guys, OJ Albani here, bringing you guys our pack week six battle against uh, Wolfwolf and his. Geez, I can't say that. Um, Trotsu Gyarados? Oh my goodness, I can't talk. It's midnight when we're playing this. It's just about 12.30 actually, so I'm a little sleepy. Um, but I think we got a cool team. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like as well as sub to the channel. Um, and definitely check out my opponent and all the other pack coaches down in the description below. Alright, let's do it. So I built this team a while ago, I won't lie. I built this team last weekend and we're playing on the last possible day. So, <laughs> I'm very, uh, interested to see what he might bring. And there is, there's, a uh... Wow. Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, so... Let's go ahead and put his team in the builder for myself. Galard X Wi-Fi. Um, and if you guys haven't watched any of our pack videos before, we don't do team builders for these. I usually just pop the set on the screen as the Pokemon comes out for the first time. Uh, we have a Zapdos, a Durant, an Aromatisse, a Sarina, a Quagsire, which may be Water Absorb, actually, and a Mew. So a very, very interesting team. Um, he does have pretty good means of removal, and I actually don't switch into Serena super well. Something I am noticing, though, is that Specs Lottie, depending on what I decide to click, is pretty darn scary for my opponent. So I think I may actually beat that and go from there. Um, so good luck, have fun to my opponent. Um, Conk can also put in the utmost of work. Um, so again, we just have to be careful about that, and we'll go from here. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Woo! I'm nervous. I'm actually very, very underprepared for to ramp, I think, actually. Um, my Dragovish can put in a decent amount of work. Again, if we just eliminate that quag, we kind of just nuke everything else. It's great. Serena doesn't want to take that hit repeatedly. Um, and if I'm forcing Serena in, it's W for your boy. So, take that. We're going to use Latios to try and punch a life-size hole in our opponent. And right here. We're going to see a Pokemon, indeed, <laughs> in the Zapdos right here. Um, I feel pretty darn comfortable just going for a Psy Shock. I don't think he should stay in, or a Psychic. I don't think he should stay in, risking me being Scarf. Even if he's Scarf, uh, he is going to withdraw. Perfect. Uh, as what are we going to see? Sad and Lonely. Is that Aromatisse? It is indeed Aromatisse. Oh, look, it's my Custom Shiny. I always, like, forget that I had Custom Shinies, and I don't, like, use the Custom Shinies. Like, I have one for Latias. I don't ever use it, though. Um, as we are going to get a big Psychic off here. Yeah, but I don't ever use it, so. That looks to probably be pretty especially defensive, considering it only took that much. Um, something I can do, I think, is just get on my rocks, though. <sighs> I can't hard conk. Ooh, I really do struggle with this guy. Huh. Um, something I can do is I can just love a Psychic. Bait for a crit, bait for a drop. Gonna wish. Um, and it is forced into a protect turn. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I think I'm gonna actually double into my Dracovish. I think we'll pivot, uh, pivot Dracovish. So he is forced into a protect turn. Or pivoting into mute if it is not protect. Which I'll definitely take. Uh, we do know that it is Wish and Lefty, so we should write that down in our notes. This team really does struggle with, like, really fat fairies. I had the same problem with the, uh, what do you call it, the other day. So you're gonna see Wish and Protect. Um, and something I want to do here... Because I think I kind of have to fish this run this turn, because we could see a pretty likely Protect come out right here. Um, so we're gonna click it fast. We're gonna try and use as little timer as humanly possible as they do have a pretty fat stally oriented team um, And I want to be able to deal with that Something good to note is that we see no Darmanitan, which is nice. We're gonna see a hard withdrawal. So no protect and scouting. We're gonna see descendant Quack there, which is definitely gonna be water absorber. Okay Completely fine with me I'm always just gonna get hard prim here. Uh, my opponent has no hazards unless they are hazards mew, which is also good to know. And that also means it's hazards mew, you know? <laughs> so, like, were you that word? I don't know. Probably not. We're gonna go prim here. Um, I just love a big moon blast. There's no real moon blast resist. Right here, toxic. That's fine. I can always rest this off. So 
though. I think I am just going to Moon Blast here, though. Pretty darn freely. Um, as there isn't a great switch, and even though we are pretty darn physically defensive, I don't see a great option for my opponent to switch into this. Um, so that's what I'm going to go for. Yeah. Maybe they get, like, super aggressive, and they go hard Zapdos on an energy ball. That would be hilarious. Uh, but I think the likely pivot is Serena or Aromatis again. Probably Aromatis. If I had to guess. Octo Protect. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, again, I'm not super worried though, because I can rest on literally everything on this team. But you know it's water absorbers. Again, information, toxic, protect. That's potentially very exploitable with our conk, which is great to know. Uh, we are going to see probably Aromatis come back out. No, we are going to see Serena. I'll take that. I will take it. Um, let's see if this thing is lefties. No, it is super assault vest. Holy shit. Do you have any other investment other than your HP spadef? Goodness gracious. Um, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, so from here, what do I want to pivot into? I feel like we can go Moltres here. We can indeed go Moltres here. Can't knock off. Yeah. Interesting course events. Knock. Something I honestly feel very comfortable doing is actually going Regirock. If I'm going to bait this thing into a triple axle, I'll take it. Um, if not, we're going to get something like a Robotix in, and I get my rocks for free. And that's great. Like, genuinely phenomenal. Um, so we see Knock from Serena. It definitely has to be AV. I'm not even going to calc it. Maybe I should calc it. Maybe I'll get a chance to calc it in a little bit. As we are going to see it uh, withdraw. Going to seven moment. Which is indeed a free Stealth Rock Aruskis. Um, and that's going to be great for chipping dang things down. Just forcing passive damage. Um, another thing we can do is immediately get off a Toxic. Actually, I'm going to immediately get off a Toxic. I think my Rocks can wait, especially because there is a spin potential. Especially because there is a spin potential. And we get to find out if this thing is, um, kill well or not. We are going to see Demon come out. That's Mew. Hard Mew. Interesting. So that means our Regirock's going to be toxic as well. Which is pretty tough, but not the end of the world. So we're going to get synchronized. Whatever. It's going to take a little bit of poison damage. We won't be able to see if it's leftovers this turn. That's neither will our opponent. Um, and I think I'm just going to still proc up here. We're going to get up spikes. So they are hazards, Mew. That's really interesting. Um, them giving me this also get, takes away their psychic immunity. Um, or, yeah, Psychic Resist, sorry. Which is great. Um, I'll definitely take that, as we are going to see more hazards go up. This is very, very interesting. I'm really, really interested to see all the spikes. Um, it also takes away their Fighting Resist, because Aromatis does not count. Um, out into Moltres we go. Pretty darn freely, actually. Are we going to see double Hazard's Mew? That's not something I really expected was Hazard's Mew. I feel like it was... I can, maybe it's just me being biased and thinking Hazard's Mew is bad. Because I really do feel like it's a, just a massive waste of a Pokemon. Um, okay. Let's go to Fire Wrath. If you just wants to come in, I'm not too worried about it. I see U-turn, so it's Spike's U-turn. Okay. It's like super chipped. I think it's in range of a 2 kk At this point. Um... 
But again, I'm, I'm very interested in this. Very interested in this. We're gonna see Sad and Lonely come out. Honestly, this thing's usefulness really does falter a little bit in this situation. Um, we know it's very spa deaf here. I think it's pretty much forced into a wish turn. I'm just gonna hurricane though. If it wants a moon blast, it can moon blast. If it wants to aromatherapy, we also figure that out about it. I will never hit a hurricane this season. You see a wish come out and it allows a very, very, very free moon blast. Um, that's a little unfortunate. I think my opponent's a little bit more likely to protect otherwise, though to be fair, they might not be. Um, I think what I do here is I go Prim, and I try and rest up. Because I won't die to this after two spikes, um, and I'll be able to rest up to it completely. I would love no drop. No drop. Uh, we will just rest though. I'm assuming rapid spin, U turn, grass move from the Serena as well. Let's see. I'm gonna rest here. We're gonna see a wish come out. This is completely fine. I think we're actually also winning the timer game, which is something else important. I'd rather not have a game go to timer at this point in the night, but you know. Sometimes it'd be like that. Um I think with the wish up in the air, they're gonna go and try and spin away um, my Rockaruskis. So what I think I want to do. Ooh, like a Moltres. If they moon blast, they moon blast, whatever. Uh, we've seen wish protect moon blast. What is the last move? They're gonna withdraw. Dementia. Word. Uh, it's gonna get back up to full, which is whatever. Again. Just going to Hurricane. I would love to hit. I can get up my rocks later. It's not that big of a deal. Um, this thing's gonna show Rapid Spin here, though. For sure gonna show Rapid Spin. I would just love to punish this Rapid Spin with some damage. You know? We're not going to see a rapid soon, which is fine. Sad and Lonely's gonna come out. We're gonna hurricane. We are not going to hit, so we are over to I fucking hate Gmolt. This one's supposed to be good, but he just refuses to hit his hurricanes for me, right? So now we just give up free turns, which is phenomenal. We do love to see it. Oh my god, this mod's so annoying. Just, ah, I don't, I hate, ugh, making good plays and then just getting, uh, getting fucked over. I'm playing well, but forcing damage would have been nice. I think potentially forcing this thing into a rest, whatever, dude. It's fine. It's life. Uh, we're gonna sleep talk. Faster, which is nice. Nope. Sounds about right. One, two. Oh, a crit? Fuck me, dude. Anything else? Alright, I'm just gonna give it to him. I, I can't save this now. Cool, bro. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know. My pack luck continues. I'm getting boned by just shitty RNG. Rest? Oh, look at the big moon blast. Give me a crit at least. I wanted a scald, but. 
Whatever, bro. Oh, God, that's frustrating. So we're gonna go Dracovish. Dude, the spikes are gonna fuck me. Um. Yeah, we'll go Dracovish here. Have to fish this run turn one, which is so annoying because the protect is very, very likely. But also, if they protect, there's Spadaf, right? So if there's Spadaf on this run, Matisse. Oh, 50. How much do you take from Facade? Did you, like, just die from this range? I think I still just double conk. It gives me a flame orb proc. Oh, what can you do, Pokemon man? Right, Pokemon. You gonna moon blast? No shot, right? So I'm gonna get my flame orb. I'm gonna throw a facade. I think you're spadef based on the damage that I was doing to you. Because Psychic would have raw to it KO'd you otherwise. Uh, which means I do indeedy get a free Fachati off. So that's what we'll click. That is what we'll click. I'm very scared we lose Durant, actually. Might just lose to Durant. But yeah, since he's Spadef, which I didn't expect him to be, he just dies to Facade. I'm pretty sure. Um, he's just gonna protect again. It's a lot of time to think just to protect. Right? Yo, what if I was bulk up? <laughs> but I'm just gonna Facade here. Again, there's no reason not to. I think I'm gonna get overwhelmed this game though, unfortunately. Uh, this still guaranteed kills, max HP. They max that guts facade. Do Aromatisse does 87 min. Looks like it's about 80%. So. I'll take it. We're just gonna facade though. Yeah, he should be able to pick one up here. So I don't know what he's. I guess he's just picking a sack. So sad and lonely. Dementia. So the only issue <laughs> is I cannot. What do you call it? Um, I can't mock punch this thing. The Queenly Majesty, which is really unfortunate. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Reggie Rock to ensure my rocks stay up. Um, because if he dies to Helmet, my rocks stay up. Um, if you didn't know that mechanic, it will stay up, which is good. Definitely take it. All right. Interesting. Well, Reggie Rock's gonna take a shit ton of damage, but this Serena is gonna die. Yes, I get to ensure rocks go up. Ooh. Now, what I assume comes out is Zappy Dose. It does have to click a fighting move to knock me out, though, by the way. Like, guaranteed has to hit a fighting move to knock me out. I suppose Durant could also come out, but then it risks a miss, which is also great for me. Let's try and speed two. I don't know how I do. Why? My lie set. Shit. Creep Durant. Creep Durant. I didn't creep Durant. <laughs> oh, shit. Even the Mew comes out. Whatever. Now, do I want to save this for helmet? Going to my pal here. Pal Gmolt? I think so. Let's see if this is a sack. I'm 
Because unfortunately the third spike is going to go up. Which is detrimental. All good. Um, and we'll just fire Wrath. Maybe I should have hurricane. But I'm not gonna hit that shit today. He's taking so much time. I would love for him to time out. It's actually probably my best win con at this point. We're in a terrible position. You're gonna see a lot of time thinking just to click U-turn, as draft league players typically do. Um, I've also decided that Durant's just gonna miss. I have also decided that that is the case. That it's just going to miss. Okay. do is I'm gonna use this as the opportunity to sack off my Rage Rock. I think he should just Moonblast here. I'm not, it's not into a KO range. So I feel like wishing is such a passive play that like I could potentially just really exploit by going Conk or Dracovish or something like that, you know? Um, so we're gonna sack Rage Rock here. Really? See, bro, I feel like that's like dummy passive. Like, ridiculously passive. Whatever. Whatever, 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 whatever. I'm gonna go Dracovish. I don't get it, personally. Um, I feel like it's a very passive play. That could have been incredibly exploited. But, whatever. He's still thinking, so again, he's taking a lot of time between turns. And that might really be my win con. That really might be my win con. That and him missing with the ramp. I will play to those win cons. So we're gonna see a lot of time thought just to click protect. Now do I wanna... Now if he catches me and goes for Moonblast on my Switch, I'm giga boned. Um, so I think I'm just gonna fish this friend and try and catch him catching me on a double, because I've doubled every time. Just kidding. Um, I'm... Not being very smart, I guess. And just expecting too much. I don't know, are you Boots? He's Boots! He's fucking Boots Quag! And Sam, how are you Boots, bro? I'm just gonna drain punch. I'm just gonna drain punch. I'll go hard in a conk. Gotta get some of this health back. Gotta get some of this health back. Get a passive place. Passive, 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 passive. Um, he's gonna take more time to click protect again. Oh, he, he clicked it pretty quick that time. Like it pretty quick that time. Um. Yeah, I got a drain punch here. Spikes. Again, I really did not expect Spikes Mew. I really, 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 really didn't expect Spikes Mew. Again, maybe it's because I have such good removal and drill and spun on his whole team. Um. And actually spun on his Mew in particular very well. Um. Whatever. I don't know. Oh, this is guts boost boosted. So like I feel like this in the mock just knocks this thing out. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I think I lose though. I I actually don't think there's a win con. From this point in time. 
I'm gonna mock punch, but I think we lose. I'm very surprised at the spike stack approach. Um, yeah, maybe I should have also brought in Scully. Um, got up my own spikes. It also seems like maybe that's why he's boots quag. I guess that makes sense because he's just <sighs> even then. You have the spin serena, but Ser spin serena doesn't really stop me from getting up hazard, you know? Because I was just continuously spiking its face. That makes me surprised at the Serena game. I don't know what Serena was here to check in particular. Prim? Doesn't your Spadef Aromatis do that just fine? I feel like that's the thing that checks that. Incredibly fine, in fact. Um, what do I sack here? I think I have to sack Gmo. I don't think there's another play. Brave Bird. Ah, so this thing's gonna take Chip. And from this position, we finally get to pick a KO, right? With big Latinos. Oh, Psychic. But yeah, we'll just keep clicking it. I think that's our best out right now. He's just spamming the Psychic button. If we can get in our conk on the quag again, we're in a potentially okay spot. We're gonna see this thing withdrawn. Uh, this is not to a key range, actually, I don't think. Um, unless I get a spadef drop. That would be a ridiculously clutch spadef drop. No. But I think after rocks, that's still pretty favorably. Have to roll for us. I'm gonna please click on it. I have uh, no reason not to because his lose condition is time. Um, my my win condition is timer right now. His lose condition is losing timer, I guess. Um. So maybe we hope this doesn't kill. Okay, so it does. Um. So he's gonna just move last. Just whatever. Here, we're just going to Psychic. I would love a Protect here. Waste more time. 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 Please Protect. Yes! Passivity! Let's go Passivity! Bam, 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 bam. Um, I do, however, lose if he Scarf Latios. Or, Scarf Zapdos, but I think that was an inevitability. I think that was inevitable. I mean, maybe we could check with... What do you call it? Um... But I genuinely don't think there's no way to play around that, because I can't sack anything else. So if he is Scarf, then we lose regardless. If he is Scarf, we lose regardless. He is Scarf. Okay, so GG. Um, unfortunately we're gonna lose. Unfortunately, we're gonna lose. He has scarf. Uh, if he is scarf, if he is. Um, it's gonna U-turn. Maybe, 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 maybe. If you go, Quag Z-Ray. Maybe if you go Quag Zyre. But yeah, I think we lose. Fort. Oh well, pretty tough matchup. Um, I was under prep for spikes for sure. So, our win con. Going Dracovish. Trying our darndest to out speed and kill this thing, but it's probably gonna first impression us. Going to connect. Knock us out. Um. 
And from here, we have to really, really hope he misses. And if he misses, we still lose to the thing in the back. So it's still a loss. Um, unless he goes hard into Zapdos, which would be like the biggest throw of all time. Um, but hey, he could do it. All right, I miss. Nope, he does not miss. So we're going to lose here. Um, 3-0, I think, to Wolf for Wolf. Um, pretty unfortunate. I don't know. It was a really weird game, honestly. <laughs> like, a really, really weird game. I'm very surprised at the spike-centered approach that he went with. Um, but it worked for him. I, I really felt like I had great removal versus him, too. Like, phenomenal removal. Um, but I think maybe if I brought Scolipede, I would have been in a better position to potentially break through his team. Um, especially if I brought, like, maybe a Toxic and Scolipede. Again, would have done pretty solid. Uh, getting a poison on that quag. Um, and maybe if I bring drill and just spin. Because again, I feel like I had a really free spin against this team. Um, like spin, toxic, earthquake, iron head, in hindsight, just really good. So maybe I should have been that. Um, but oh well, you live and you learn. I believe we're like 4 and 3 on the season now. So uh, it's not a league I'm tripping too much on at this point. I, I really don't care too much about pack and all honesty um, when it comes to you know our record. Oh, we're 3 and 3. Damn. We are four and two. Guess not. Um, we're three and three. Who do we play next week? Who do we play next week? And I, I really feel like we can win this league. Um, we play J Bear, so as long as he doesn't lock the shit out of us like he did in NCP, um, I think we should be fine. <laughs> um, and then we play Virginia Victini's Indian Treasures. I'll be honest, I don't know who that is. Um, so we'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, Jesus Wolf for Wolf, he played ball. Um, he executes the game playing well, and it's life. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.